Hey guys, here we are again. In this video, we want to talk about the YEC 2021 Chemistry Practical Alternative B. Thanks for coming back again if you have subscribed. If you are yet to subscribe, please don't hesitate to do so. Click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it. That will notify you when we drop a new video. Let's quickly glance through what we need to know about the practical for the salt analysis. Moreover, I won't be able to show you the practical uh, processes, but I'm going to explain everything that has to do with the practical. You will be supplied salt K, sorry, a solution K and solution L. Solution K happens to be a solution of calcium chloride. That is calcium chloride, CaCl2, as you're seeing in that uh, uh, video. So we have uh, also another solution, hell. Solution hell is lead nitrate. That is PbNO32. So that is solution hell. So we are going to look at likely questions or possible questions that you might meet and possible tests you might need to perform, the observation you would uh, have and the inferences to each observation to each observation rather so let's look at the question let's glance through the question so i'm going to read it out then we talk about each question the observation and the inference so looking at the question here we have k and l are solution of inorganic salts carry out the following test on k and l the first test says Take about 10 cm cube of K and mix with 10 cm cube of L. Filter and keep both residue and the filtrate. So that is the first step. So which means you are going to have K and L being reacted. And at the end of the reaction, you should be expecting a double decomposition reaction. So which means they are going to swap their radicals. I mean, their hinions the cations and anions. So there will be rearrangement. And definitely we are going to form a soluble salt and an insoluble salt. So, and the soluble salt happens to be the calcium trouser nitrate. Why the insoluble happens to be the lead chloride. So the lead chloride will come out as a residue, while the calcium nitrate will come as the solution. So we're going to go through it and the observation. So the next step says, Add about add te, uh, sorry add HCl to the residue. That means you have to divide the residue into two according to the step you are seeing there. So then to a portion you add HCl, heat and allow to cool. Then the next step says to the other part that is the second portion of the residue, add HNO3. Then add HGNO3 in drop and then in excess. Endeavor to always give your observation when you had in drop and also in excess. So the next step says to the mixture in question three, add NH3, which is ammonia, dilute. Then let's move to the next step. To one portion of the filtrate, that is divide the filtrate into two, add ion, so uh, ion sulfate that is ion 2 sulfate then after the addition of ion 2 sulfate then you need to add concentrated h2so4 so we had concentrated h2so4 then the last test says to the other part of the filtrate add dilute h2so4 then you give your observations and inferences so now let's go through the tests one after the other and the observation and inference in each case. So to the first test where we have K plus L, that is the test. So the observation there is that you would notice a colorless filtrate and white residue formed. So and this indicates, as I've said earlier, that there is a double decomposition reaction reaction occurring between K and L. So to the second test, we have the residue plus HCl 
then you heat and then allow to cool. In your observation, you would notice that there will be white precipitate form on addition of HCl. And when you heat it, the white precipitate persists. Sorry, when you heat it, uh, the white precipitate disappears but reappears on cooling. So that is what uh, you need to correct in that table. So when you have such observation, then you should say lead ion is present. So let's move to the third step. We have the second part of the residue plus dilute HNO3. Then when you add dilute HNO3, your observation is that there is a fervescent and a choking, a gas with a choking smell and greenish yellow color is formed. So and then you add AgNO3 in drop and in excess, then you notice white precipitate obtained. So your inference should be that Cl minus, I minus, and Br minus are present because those are the are the ions that are likely to give white precipitate in solution when you added HNO3 followed by AgNO3. And at the same time, um initially we said there was a gas evolved so that has given a great information about the anion present so you might be having it in one side of your mind that you are about to perform the confirmatory test of chlorine so the next step says the initial mixture should be uh i mean ammonia should be added to the initial mixture and once ammonia is added the precipitate formed earlier becomes soluble so, and this solubility of that precipitate confirms chlorine. So, we can go to the inference of that test and write Cl minus confirmed or present. So, then to the next step, we have filtrate plus FeSO4, that is ion 2 sulfate. So, what you would notice is that part of the solution turns brown when you add your concentrated H2SO4. You might not notice any reaction when you add your ion to sulfite, sulfate rather. But on addition of concentrated H2SO4, you notice a brown part in the solution. That is the part where the conch HCl that is concentrated, sorry, concentrated H2SO4 touches, you will notice a, bl a brown spot there. And this indicates that Nitri uh, nitrate ion is there that is no3 minus so that is the confirmatory test for that then the second portion of the filtrate we are meant to add h2so4 then you would notice a white solution form and gradually the white solution turns into a white precipitate in the solution so and this confirm calcium ion so these are the tests you might likely have to perform and the inferences, observations and inferences in each case. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free. Thank you.